In Washington, D.C., this bachelor just bought a contemporary loft with killer views. I have no clue what to do with it. Three capital area designers have offered to lend a hand, but only one of them will get to put their plan into action. Stay tuned. Welcome to Designer's Challenge. I'm Chris Harrison. Yugoslavia native Sidney Vlasovlovic feels right at home in the contemporary penthouse he recently purchased in the heart of the nation's capital. You can really clearly see the Georgetown Cathedral now. I bought this place for the view. The views are just absolutely fantastic. From here you can see the capital, Georgetown Cathedral, the beautiful historic 16th Street. You can see Virginia from one side, Maryland on the other side. Just wonderful views. It's a brand new construction. It's really modern. It has a elevator goes straight into my living space. It has an open kitchen. It has a beautiful loft upstairs. It's really in the heart of the city, and I'm looking forward to living here. The problem is really my main living area. Here is the space. It's an open canvas. And I really have no idea what to do with it. As you can see, I have this wonderful fireplace with beautiful black granite and a beautiful wall above it. I would like to put a, maybe a flat screen TV and I really want this to become a focal point in the main room. I have these wonderful 17 foot high windows that are overlooking beautiful Georgetown Cathedral and I guess some window treatments are necessary to protect my hardwood floors and my furniture. But on the other hand, I want to save my view. Cindy would like some color and artwork on the walls and a comfortable place to eat. I kind of want it to be a minimalistic, modern, clean-cut design. I hope that a uh, designer will bring in some nice features, put everything together for me. I just can't wait to move in, really, and start using my love the way I really want it to. Here are the local designers who want to help. First up are Deborah Coxstein and Robin Gray of Contemporaria. Deborah earned an architecture degree in her native Peru, and Robin studied design at Louisiana State University. What is going on in this city now is I think there's a lot of traditional architecture. A lot of people are going more into the contemporary design, so we are combining both styles in the interiors. Some of the things in the loft that were baffling was I think they tried to take it a little too far with the industrial, so we tried to tone it down a little bit and make it look a little bit more residential without taking the industrial aspects away from it. Rebecca Kramer of Kramer Interiors has a background in the hospitality industry and earned her design degree from Mount Vernon College. Washington, D.C. is a neoclassical city, but Washington's getting younger and it's changing. And so more modern design is coming in and the rules are breaking that you don't have to have the red dining room and the blue living room, which is nice. Sydney's project is definitely a challenge. It's a very large open space height-wise but it's actually quite small and intimate, and so it's the blending of those two ideas of space together. Katie Levy of Capital Design received a degree in business from Boston College and graduated from the Rhode Island School of Design. To me, good design is a combination of looking to the past for the successful forms and figures that could be reinterpreted and updated with modern materials. Sydney is moving into a fabulous space. I mean, it's a hot building, it's brand new architecture, and it's about as cutting edge as Washington gets. The moment I walked in, I knew there was definitely the potential for greatness in that space. Coming up next, the experts present their ideas to Sydney. But when the project begins, is this new citizen ready for American style stress? It's not going to be perfect. In Washington, D.C., Sidney Vlasovlovich has challenged local design experts to create a comfortable contemporary living space in his new penthouse loft. After meeting with them, our designers went to work on a plan, and now they're ready to show Sidney what they have in mind. First up is the team of Deborah Cockstein and Robin Gray, who have come up with a minimalist look softened with texture and color. So here you see, this is all the living room here in the floor plan. And what we did is like we separated the space in different areas. We separated the entrance room as one whole area. We separated a little dining notch here. We have a buffet here that separates the living area where you can have a bar. Mm -hmm. So if you're entertaining, everything will circle around this round rug. In addition to area rugs, Deborah and Robin will also use lighting to define the spaces. 
A modern drop lamp and a bright tangerine would highlight the dining area. Another light we used was in the living area. It's a tripod lamp. It's very beautiful. It almost is a sculptural piece. Beautiful. We did some pendant lights over the bar area in okay, the so kitchen. That would, that would hang from, from there or... Right. Okay, okay. That's, a, that's a really good idea. Also, you can't really pull a bar stool underneath the counter. So we're proposing to knock one of these cabinets out and put in a stainless steel leg so oh, that you can really, sit. Oh, that's a really, really good idea. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that we're doing is like the staircase. The apartment is very, it's uh, very vertical. So we are cutting all the vertical bars and we are incorporating a cable system. And we're gonna create these horizontal lines that I think it will soften the look of the staircase. Deborah and Robin want to tuck a chaise lounge against the wall under the stairs and suggest a low-lying aluminum media cabinet in the bay window. All your DVD, CD, music, everything is incorporated in here. And as we know that you don't like to see cables, everything is inside, you don't see absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this whole back wall where the fireplace is, we want to paint it with a plaster paint and it's gonna give you like a warm and soft look to it. Here you can see the materials that we're proposing with the furniture. Everything is done in scale and in place. And then you can see a little bit of the furniture that we are proposing. And then on your uh, right hand side, you see our color scheme. As you can see, everything that we plan is gonna be around grays, oranges in different hues and different textures, and black. Okay, in great. front of you, you can see the 100% wool that we're using the felt rack for the entrance. Actually, that's the polar and that's the design on it. And then we have here the couch in a very soft and warm fabric. Mm -hmm. We have the cubes for sitting in this crocodile embossed leather. We have the white Carrara marble table in here. We have the chairs that actually you can see they are the same chairs oh, that we have in are, here. Those are pretty. The table is the same material as the coffee table. So what we're doing is like we're putting a very warm rack and we're putting a very cold and industrial table on top. So we are kind of playing with the cold and warm. Right. Because this is pretty much what the loft is. It's like mm -hmm. a cold, you know, but then you want to warm the environment. Quite well. Exactly. Like exactly. Well, ladies, you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Next up, Rebecca Kramer uses a mix of shapes and materials to set off the great views of DC. This is my design for how to fill this empty space for you. Excellent. I took my inspiration for the design based on the vistas that you see out of the windows, particularly the dome of the roof of the church that's just at the corner. Wonderful. And that's where the idea for the round rug to give you a sort of central island within this large volume of space. Okay. And then it's ringed with four cubic chairs that will be done in a white leather. Okay. And then there'll be three tables round glass with brushed steel legs. And then the coffee table will be from the same line and will echo that form. And the reason I chose to use the steel is to pick up on the steel of the frame of your windows and to bring those materials into your space. Okay. I guess then, that makes sense. And then to give you some seating for your kitchen, I've provided you with a stainless steel counter height table so it can also double as an extra work surface. And then you'll have four leather stools okay. to go with it that are also stackable. Under the stairs will be a large steel cabinet for your stereo with a table lamp to provide lighting under there to give it a okay. pop. I brought in a couple big plants to give you the idea of the outside mm -hmm. coming into the space. Okay. And then on the other side of the fireplace is just a small white traveling bar kind of unit. Okay. And I've kept that white because I want it to blend into that wall. I see. Then for your nook, this is your nice low black leather bench. And then these stacking bookcases, they become sculptural and they add height on either mm. side of the nook for you. And then the lamp that I wanted to put in there is a nice floor lamp. I like those a lot. It can either be a direct down light or you can move the arm up and then pull the light more to where you want the light to be. This would be your color palette. And the idea is to add a couple hits of blue within the space without it becoming overpowering. So one of the spaces would be this end wall underneath the staircase. And the other is just above the kitchen cabinets to give that area some depth and some brightness that it's lacking right I, now. I love blue, as, as you can see, my shirt is blue too. So <laughs> we match. I like the idea. And then the idea for the staircase wall is you need a nice big piece of art. Okay. What I'd like to put up there is to take a digital photograph and have it blown up 
And then okay. for my idea for this, the duct that you have that okay. hangs down in your corner right. is to create a, basically it would become a living sculpture out mm -hmm. of fabric. So the idea would be that we would take a fabric of this light so the air can still come through it and create it into a tube, basically a tube. In three foot sections it would be hooped so you'll have some stiffness to it to keep its shape. And then as the air comes through that vent, the whole sculpture will move and become right. living. Well, great. I really love your living sculpture idea. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. I enjoyed working on it. Finally, Katie Levy arrives with a plan that blends traditional and contemporary elements in a rich, earthy palette. So I'm going to start out on my plan as you would walk in off of the elevator. And here you'll see the first element of our plan to warm up the space, and that is our Tibetan rug. Mm -hmm. And it will create some type of a foyer, an entrance into the space. Moving on into the main space, we'll look at the stair wall first. I've suggest this six foot by six foot three-dimensional piece of artwork. And as the stairs descend, the artwork would descend as well. Oh, I see. So it kind of like kinda descend see. with the... Asymmetrical, exactly. Okay. Instead of the, a very small fireplace in a room with 16 foot high ceilings, mm. we'd like to extend that fireplace the same depth that it is now and create a visual element there where we can build in all of your audio-visual equipment and also still have your gas fireplace below. Wow, that's, that's awesome. I, I, I've never thought of that. We have a very modern, clean-lined sofa here and this beautiful espresso brown, a nice dark anchor it. for the room. And then also in the seating group are two of these clean-lined chairs with stainless steel legs. And then we'll put this fun fabric on there, which... This is the fabric. This is the fabric for the lounge okay. chair, yes. From wall to wall, we'll be installing a cable lighting system, as well as some hanging pendants for the decorative areas above the bar. Because you have so much mechanical going on up there, mm -hmm. we're going to paint the ceiling an espresso brown so that mm. all of those mechanics just kind of recede from view. I developed floor-to-ceiling draperies, framing all of these large windows. They don't block the views, but they frame the views nicely. My issue with the bay window itself was that when we put a dining table here, your eye level was low to be able to take advantage of the views. Okay. And so we proposed building a 12 inch high platform, mm -hmm. cladding it in the same wood flooring as you have right now. But then by putting 30 inch high bar stools and building in a translucent bar counter to eat at, you mm. can actually be up high enough to take advantage of the amazing views that you have in that window. Wow. Look out at the entire city. Well, thank you so much. This was just absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Cindy. It thank was a you. pleasure. Sure. Cindy may already have his mind made up. I think I know which one I really like, but I would like you to take a look and um, let me know what you think. Will his decision be the right one? Stick around. Cindy had a week to weigh the three design plans. Who did he pick to decorate his new Washington, D.C. loft? It's time to find out. All three designs were fantastic. I enjoyed Deborah's Italian furniture. Rebecca's selection of paints was fantastic. But I really, really like Katie's design. And I think it's a perfect fit for my place. The crew gets right to work on the new audio-visual wall. And Katie and Cindy go shopping for the wood finish and glass for his custom bar. Good morning, guys. Okay. Let me show you what I got here. Based on our conversation, I tried to uh, see if I could hit something here. I go went from dark to light, see what we can come up with. Great, great. Okay. Good option. Tell me what you guys think. I like this finish right here. It's really nice. Kind of a medium on maple. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see how that looks with our colors. Mm, I don't know. It's a little bit yellow i think a little washed out yeah washed. why don't we try yeah. something a little How about darker? something darker something something that would How about as dark over? as you can get yeah a little and what kind of wood is that this one is cherry i think i'd like to see something with a little more color mm. what about this one i like it i could go with this one i can this again is a cherry mm -hmm. uh medium stain it's got reds in it brings out the red that uh yeah, naturally is, occurs in the cherry Mm -hmm. And you can still actually see a lot of the graining in it, which is nice. It'll add some richness to the wall. Okay. All right, good. Medium red. I think we got some wood. That All right. All right. Glass. Let's talk about the glass. 
Okay, we're doing a built-in glass bar on the window, 12 feet wide, and I think we need probably something pretty hefty. I mean, the first thing that caught my eye is this one. This is called Starfire, clear edge glass. Uh, doesn't give you the green edge that this other one does. Oh, I actually like this one a lot. This one's real thick and real heavy. <laughs> oh, that's good. That one is three quarter. Wow. It's the same glass as this okay. one, but it's three quarter thickness. And this we did uh, a couple of interesting edges just to show you. This is a, we call it a chipped edge. I think this would look good as a... As a bar? As a bar. I, I think so I too. I can see that. And do you uh, like actually, the flat edge or the chipped edge? I like the chipped edge. Well, we'll get the glass going and uh, let's see. Let me, if you want, I'll show you how we go about doing this stuff. Okay. Terrific. This is pretty much the similar color of... It, it happens to be, you saw that chip, he's making right. up the color, but it is similar. So he takes a rough piece of wood like that, runs it through the machine until he gets it all flat on one surface. While work gets underway at the shop, it's back to the penthouse, where the crew is prepping for the new AV wall and bar. Not everything goes according to plan. There's going to be a gap there when we do that. We have to put a piece of shoe mold, I put something there to finish that, that gap off. Right, that's what he was saying. Cindy's move-in date is just around the corner, but will his loft be ready in time? What is the plan? I don't know. Stay tuned. Cindy's DC loft was a blank slate before designer Katie Levy went to work. A few minor adjustments to get the bar squared away, and the room was finished on schedule. Let's see how it turned out. The well, room is finished. Uh, everything looks fantastic and I'm so pleased with Katie's design. I just moved in last night and Katie's coming over to take a look at the design with me. Good to see Welcome. you. Thank Welcome. you. What do you think of the space? It's amazing. It's yeah, absolutely it's amazing. It turned out I great. love it. It really, really did. This is my favorite part right here. The bar. The bar is fantastic. Yeah, it was It was just it, really the right call, I think, for that space. And by building up that platform, you were so able to take advantage of this just amazing view that you have. <laughs> How about those bar stools? Have you sat on them? I love the bar stools. The bar stools are extremely comfortable. I love the, the texture that he chose for the, for mm -hmm. the materials. Mm -hmm. I love the back support. And what about that glass bar? I love it. It's classic and brings a modern element to the bar. Yeah, so. yeah. You can literally look through it down to the street level and see who's standing at the front door. So that's it's a great deal. element. I love it. Yeah. What about the draperies? You know, the, the draperies. draperies are awesome. They frame that bay out so nicely and they really add so much softness to the space and I think that works really well. I love it. And then the decorative lighting is really great too. We designed those custom. They just have such nice personality with the leopard shade and then the red ball on top. Everything is very symmetrical. personalized. Yeah. The cable lighting is a little bit industrial, but I think it's good. It stands off against the ceiling because we painted the ceiling so darkly, so you don't really see the cables running, but you do have that nice bright light that is dimmable. Uh, and by night, the way, so you can, yeah, They're you fabulous. I love them. And I think painting all of the metal railings here too, make them kind of recede. I know we didn't like those as much. And, right, right. And I think they really kind of blend away. Mm -hmm. And I, I like the way we use paint to kind of create paint separations. It's almost like there are different rooms All the in different here. elements. Yeah, yeah no, really it nice. really is nice. What about all your accessories? Isn't it amazing how those all come together? I know. From all yeah. your travels all over the world, your African mask is so nice, and this Asian pot is so nice. Oh, different the pot that you chose, it's fantastic. I love it. I mean, it, it's, it, it's it is. gigantic. It's gigantic, and it's definitely authentic, too. But the nice bamboo, too, I mean, that really hides our HVAC duct. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. And what do you think about your AV wall? It's awesome. Yeah, it turned out nice. It looks very modern, and the fireplace looks like a part of it, too. Because before, the fireplace was just really a standalone object. Right. Um, and in, this is more place. just part of the visible. architecture right of the Right now, space. it looks like really blend in. And then the beautiful coffee table in front, like yep. the bronze colors and the glass. I mean, it blends perfectly. 
Uh, what about the couch? <laughs> <laughs> yep, we were able to even work in the couch. You had a brown leather couch, which I didn't even know when I did the design. I know, I know. And then with the addition of a couple of extra pillows, we saved ourselves some money. It almost looks like a brand new couch now. And the chairs that he chose, um, I mean, they're beautiful. Yeah, I think it looks good. And these are nice dark colors too, so I think the upholstery is going to hold up nicely. And the artwork that he chose, it's fantastic. I love the artwork because I was a little bit concerned about the wall. You know, it's a focal point of the place you walk Absolutely. in. Wherever you look, you see, you see that piece of art, which is definitely very important to me. Yeah, no, it really did turn out nice. Mm -hmm. You did a fantastic job. It looks just like from your drawings. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, it was really very fun working on it. I enjoyed every bit of it. Thanks for joining us on Designers Challenge. We'll see you next time when we put three more designers to the test. I'm Chris Harrison.